Local Hoosier is hoping to piece together some history that she recently bought at an antique film reel, and it's from a store in Bloomington. To her surprise, that reel was full of old videos. Our Mike Sullivan rejoins us now to show us how she's trying to reunite the video with the original family. An antique is a piece of a bygone era oozing with nostalgia. I really uh, was pretty drawn to it when I initially saw it. Like a moment in time, just suspended on the shelf. It's almost like you stuff you'd see in a movie. Only for Leah Tibbet, she is talking yeah. about actual film. The few small reels she recently purchased at the antique mall in Bloomington. Oh, thank you. <laughs> at first, I, I thought this could be a cool prop. This could be a cool decor item um, in my studio. That is until she decided to see what was on it. I am a photographer, videographer myself. She owns an eight millimeter film converter. This you like kind of weave it in here. This Slowly like transforming the clips. It kind of like goes like uh, uh, uh. into a computer file. And I was pretty amazed at what I saw. Images of long lost home videos. Leah guesses from the 80s. A lot, a lot of family times like cookouts out by the lake um, in the back of a red truck. Much of the film centers around a young boy growing up. If we can find someone who was one of the young kids. Just perhaps there could be a reunion of film and family. It feels very Midwest to me, and I want to hope that it's from Bloomington or the surrounding area. Back at the antique shop, we find general manager Will Rosina. Just like the FBI or the CIA, you have to start backwards. His shop rents space to antique dealers. And talking with that person, you go back, where did you get it from? Also, are there any context clues? Sometimes the trees will give you a hint. There's trees uh, indigenous to Indiana in the Midwest, which are not in Florida or Texas. There is a couple clips of coal mining um, within it. Leah is spreading the clips across her social media. Thousands of people have shared it, and I think everyone's really rooting for this um, reunion. We are too. In Bloomington, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News.